headquarters of RT America in our nation's capital. Hello again, everybody. I'm Rick Sanchez. Tonight, we're going to take you live to Puerto Rico, where the, the U.S. colonial establishment that's been there for so many, so many hundreds of years is kind of being challenged right now. But we're going to begin with the president of the United States accusing Iran of lying. So here's what Mr. Trump is referring to. Iran announced that it was uh, arresting 17 scientists who it says were spying on behalf of the United States, right, inside uh, Iran. Tehran says that some will be executed, while some of the others are going to be sentenced to life in prison. Upon hearing that, Mr. Trump tweeted that this is all made up. Here's what he said. He said the report of Iran capturing CIA spies is totally false. Zero truth. Just more lies and propaganda like their shot down drone put out by a religious regime that is badly failing and has no idea what to do. But here's what Iran is saying. They say that the United States actually recruited these spies when they attended scientific conferences outside of Iran. And they say they bought them off with money and a promise of a job in America at some point. So what did the scientists have to do? This is really fascinating. They had to provide the U.S. with information about Iran's nuclear program, like so. Iran says the information was passed along in containers that were designed to look like rocks. These fake rocks were hollowed out with uh, something inside that was left for pre-specified locations, and they were placed in parks and in, in mountain ranges with the documents inside that they were giving to the CIA. This is what, uh, you know, the Tehran government is saying. But there's more. Over the weekend, Iran also seized, as, I'm probably sh as you probably heard, a British-flagged oil tanker and its crew in the Strait of Hormuz. And that is causing the British prime minister and her foreign policy advisors into emergency meetings as we speak right now. So why is Iran suddenly flexing its muscle? And how is the West going to react to this? This is the news with Rick Sanchez, where we believe it's time to do news again. But so we're going to begin our first segment tonight by showing this video, right? It's the one that was released by the officials in the Iranian uh, news agency. All right, here it is. Look at this. This is a video. They say shows how the British uh, flag tanker was in Iranian waters, and that is why it was seized. You see that right there? That's a commando going down onto the ship. He's part of Iran's elite Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. He can be seen rappelling off of the helicopter. He and several of his uh, peers, apparently, other commandos, get on the vessel while the vessel is still at sea, and essentially, they, they, they take it over during this mission. Crazy, huh? Experts say Iran is simply retaliating for the British capture of an Iranian tanker that happened several weeks ago. Obviously, they're trying to show the world, look what we can do. Look what we got. As Iran continues sending London and Washington the message that it is not to be trifled with. Saya Tavinger is a special correspondent who's been following the situation inside of uh, Iran. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. First of all, what's the very latest with these uh, 17 individuals who have apparently been arrested and called spies? Well, today, Iranian uh, intelligence officials announced that they had captured 17 spies that have been working for the CIA. But a lot of people don't realize they're not saying they just found these 17 today. These are 17 names that they've been uh, researching for the past 12 months and they just re released their names today. But part of the 17 names that have been released, the Iranian government is saying, have actually turned and are now working for the Iranian government instead. So this whole news is just kind of doesn't make sense. How could these names be released but be it, working it, for the Iranians now? It's amazing. I've been reading the report. They say that they apparently uh, had uh, rocks mm. that they used as... Uh, canisters or containers where they would share information right. with these uh, CIA spooks who apparently mm -hmm. were inside of Iran because Iran today uh, released six or seven different photos, passport photos mm -hmm. of these guys that they say are CIA agents 
who had somehow what gotten inside of Iran have gotten inside of Iran and have been using these special surveillance instruments like you said to try to get information from Iran's nuclear sites to the US but now even just in April they released another 290 mm. names that were working for the CIA so this has been ongoing this year in announcements so what I hear you saying is and this is interesting that many of us growing up with our own CIA and oh. knowing the nefarious things they have done they lied us into a war in Iraq okay. they lied us into a war in Vietnam at this point when they tell us Iran bad we must be thinking Iran must be good mm -hmm. right sure. but in this case you're saying don't take these things that Iran is saying at face value they are just as uh, as nefarious in many ways mm -hmm. as our own CIA is exactly. in, in in planning and, and putting out this mm -hmm. kind of information that may not necessarily be true. Exactly. No, I would say exactly that. But then again, having CIA agents in Iran, is it unheard of? No, absolutely not. But Iran is a very strategic country. So why have they waited until now to release the 17 names? I wouldn't be surprised if Iran had these names, but they've been waiting for a perfect opportunity to, to release these names. I have to ask you this that I didn't ask you, and I'm thinking about it just as an American citizen mm. I'm, I'm, there's got to be people at home who are thinking the same thing how could you be a CIA agent an American looking mm. CIA agent because I've seen these passport pictures they just released right. look at these guys they right. look like uh, you know mm. goober or something sure. somebody from Kansas City mm. how can you be an American CIA agent living in Iran without Iran knowing mm. you are there on day one and also working at these nuclear sites, working at these military sites, being American. I mean, that part is really unheard of. So, uh, I mean, do Americans live in Iran? I mean, no, absolutely. Be... Americans do live in Iran, but do they work in top positions in the military or the Iranian nuclear sites? No, absolutely not. So, just these parts of the story really makes you question is this something that Iran just announced for domestic, just for domestic news? Purposes? So, in other words, to Victor, yeah, I mean, uh, Despots often use exactly. this tool to try mm -hmm. and make their people feel like they're coming to get them. Exactly. So they can protect them mm -hmm. then. And this has been on a 12 month basis that they've been after these so called spies. So why are they releasing them now? So for you, it doesn't pass the smell. No, test. absolutely no, it doesn't. Right. And also, Iran's justice system is very different than ours. If you get blamed for any kind of what the Islamic Republic calls as being against Islam, you're proven guilty until you're proven not innocent. Yeah, so. But they wouldn't be the only country that has that kind of right. system. By the way, apparently they've all, uh, half of them already been sentenced to death. The other mm -hmm. half have been sentenced to life. Right. Uh, Saya Tavinger, thank you so much for your insight. Good of stuff. Course.